hello everyone how are you and welcome to another video on our react native course so in this video we will learn about environment variables so guys uh, there are two questions two main questions like what is environment variable in react native and why we use it what is the purpose of uh, environment variable so we will discuss first we will discuss the theory and then we will go to the practical side okay guys so i will define you about react native environment okay guys so let's start so in react native environment variables are used to manage app configuration values separately from the code base okay so guys there are some values that you don't need to hard code it inside your code you need to store that value somewhere as separately from the main code and uh, the reason is like these keys or these value need to be secure we cannot show these inside our code okay so these variable allow you to define things like guys uh, api urls so if you are fetching something from your backend database so you need to like secure your api urls you need to secure your app secret feature flags or any other data that might change between environments let's look more deeply inside uh, the environment variables so what are environment variables environment variables are key value pairs okay that is stored outside of your code so please remember this that you don't need to hard code anything instead of hard coding sensitive or environment specific value you store them in a file usually name as env and load them into your application okay guys i think you are getting my point but if you have any confusion you can ask me in the comment section so i will define it one more time so there are some keys there are some values uh, that you don't need to hard code inside your main code you need to put the, the those keys in a separate .env file that's why we use environment variable for security purpose we will uh, uh, do more uh, practical things in uh, upcoming videos also so you have more uh, knowledge about these environment variables so guys here you can see on uh, my screen this example so this is the key api url and we will store uh, the value like this so this is our api url and if you are guys using google maps so guys google maps will give you your api key google maps key you don't need to hard code it inside your main code you need to put it in a separate file dot env file to make that key secure i think this is enough briefing on environment variable but uh, if you have any confusion you can ask me in the comment section okay guys so how we can implement environment variable let's come to the practical side so guys to implement environment variable we will you can use there are two main libraries that you can uh, install and use so first is react native dot env and second is react native config so guys we will use react native dot env library in our tutorial so here we come over here so guys this is react native dot env website the npm website and this is the package reagnative.env that we will use so how you can uh, search it on google just type this press enter and go to the first url you will find this page okay now guys our first step will be to install this package reagnative.env so I will run second command because we are using yarn over here. We will go inside our terminal and press enter. Ok friends, after that we will go more further over here. Ok guys, so let's create this file babel.config.js. Now we will in the root file, we will guys uh, create a new file over here babel.config.js ok 
okay so it said that already you have already babel.config okay so we don't need to create it again so this is our guys babel config file okay so guys we will copy this i think this is starts from here and ends here and uh, we will come inside our code paste this over here yes and then guys we don't need the extra things so we will uh, cut it and then save it okay so this is it and uh, okay okay guys so after that we will need to create one more file in our root directory which is dot env so new file dot env so guys in this env file we will save all our configuration all our strings over here so let me give you a quick demo of this so let me just copy this paste it over here so here you can see api url so you can put any name over here and then you say is equal to and then this is the string that you need to secure okay so first is the key and second is the value so the key name can be anything so let's suppose we in upcoming video we will store google maps api key so i will name it google maps api key like this and make sure that this is in capital okay now save it and let's guys uh, access this inside our code okay guys now we will uh, see how we can access this key value inside our code okay so let's come over here so in source folder guys i will create a new folder of config okay config and in this i will uh, like to create a new file let's say in our upcoming video we will implement firebase for authentication so i will create a firebase.js file okay but uh, right now like uh, leave it um, empty okay i will show you how you can access this key in our splash screen i will show you okay just for a demo purpose um, okay over here so we will time out in time out we will not navigating to another screen we will access our environment uh, variable okay okay friends so let's come to this so um, how we can do this so this is the simple guide you need to first import it over here like uh, we will use over here so in this splash screen we need uh, we will try to access our environment variable so i will copy this and uh, paste it over here so guys this is how you can import it so first of all you need to import it in the javascript file where you want to access it and simple import is simple import and then uh, curly braces open close and the name of the environment uh, key that you gave in inside your dot env and uh, from at the red env okay now we will save it and inside the timeout i will just console dot log this uh, google maps api key so this is just for a demo purpose and in an upcoming video we will uh, use it in a professional way okay okay friends so let's run our application in android first so npx react native run android okay and guys uh, to see this console.log we need to open our developer tool so we will uh, type j over here okay first of all we will wait for the app to open then we will uh, type j to open our dev tool okay friends so our app is built right now and uh, let's see if we can access our uh, 
environment variable or not so we have to open our dev tool so press j to open the dev tool okay, so it's opening okay guys so right now you can see the dev tool and you can see this http api so guys this is coming from the console.log that we just do okay so i will place uh, one more string over here okay google maps api key let's save it one more time and reload our application i will show you okay so here you can see after three seconds okay yes google maps api key so what is happening that uh, we successfully accessing this uh, in key this value from our environment variable key so guys we will also check it on ios side also so let's close this emulator first of all and uh, close this bundler also and we will run our application on ios whenever you guys install any package you need to cd into our ios folder and do pod install for safety purpose okay so we will first uh, do pod install and then we will run it because we install a new dependency so whenever you install a new dependency please make sure that you cd ins inside your ios folder and do pod install now we can run now we can run easily this npx reignitive run ios okay friends so our ios app is also built let's see if we are getting our environment variable on uh, ios side also so i will reconnect my dev tool okay so i need to close it first of all then uh, let's press j to reconnect our dev tool okay yes so we are reconnected now i will clear it and uh, press R to reload our application okay the application is running over here as you can see and then we can also access our environment variable in iOS iOS also okay guys so this is it for today's video I hope you like it and learn something from this video if you like it hit the like button don't forget to subscribe the channel and uh, I will see you guys in the next one till then take care and uh, have a good day